Now let's take a look at the results from our call to action last night, where we asked you to vote for your favorite proposal when it comes to the aging Keller Auditorium in downtown Portland. We had dozens and dozens of responses through email and voicemail. Here's a quick recap of the options on the table. Right now, first, tear down much of the Keller and rebuild where it stands, possible, or leave the Keller alone and rebuild a big 3,000 seat theater on property set aside at Portland State University, also possible, or leave the Keller and build a big theater across the river on the east side where the Lloyd Center Mall now stands also possible. Of course, none of the options will be cheap. The renovation is the cheapest on paper, but would come with tens of millions of dollars in lost output in the form of jobs, labor income, and tax revenue during the closure for renovations. Though the developer says they could have two separate pauses of construction that would last seven months each to still have the big shows come through and use the space. All right, here are the results. Just under half of those who emailed or called us want the Keller to stay right where it is. So either a strong support or good organization there. Less than a third of you would like the PSU option and around a quarter say the new auditorium should be built across the Willamette River at Lloyd Center. Let's get to some of your reasons why, starting with the majority opinion of renovating the Keller. Al wrote in to say, moving the Keller Auditorium from its present location will be nothing less than a tragedy. While downtown Portland is making significant strides and making an amazing comeback, this move will deal a heavy blow to downtown, which is the economic engine of the state. Further, intentional deterioration of downtown is simply ignorant. And Janet kept things short and sweet. My vote is to renovate the present Keller. It is a landmark. It has a great history. It will help revitalize downtown. It should stay where it belongs. Next, let's get to those of you who would like to see a new auditorium on the PSU campus. That's just six blocks away from the Keller. I really think um, there's a lot of, of unrecognized benefit to building uh, a new performing arts center as part of the Port, uh, Portland uh, campus. Having a performing arts center as integrated with the, the campus will give the university a chance to be a, a much more uh, vibrant environment and, and uh, educational asset to the whole, whole of Oregon. All right, thanks for that feedback, John. Cheryl wrote to us to say, go big, go creative, tell the world that Portland is back. The PSU proposal is the most comprehensive and the most friendly to arts organizations in the metro area. Let's put PSU's motto into practice, let knowledge serve the city. I actually liked all three options, but my favorite was the PSU location. Because it is downtown, uh, it's, it's so much more versatile. The option that is not downtown is Lloyd Center. We got several messages that did not take a stand on which proposal they wanted, only to say they did not want it to be built on the east side. We did not count those as votes, by the way. But there are those of you who think it's the best place. Kelly told us, Relocating the Keller to Lloyd Center's east side spot would solve multiple problems at once. Revitalize and reconfigure the Lloyd District, as well as expand the arts footprint out of downtown. Spendy, sure, but we're Portland, and we're worth it. I prefer the Lloyd Center for a new auditorium. A little nostalgia, because I've liked Lloyd Center since 1960, and I hate to see it torn down, but nevertheless, time goes on. Thank you for that. Doug told us, my vote is for Lloyd Center location. It makes sense to keep the Keller going during any change in venues. The Lloyd District makes more sense than PSU because of its proximity to the Rose Quarter Convention Center and many hotels and restaurants. One thing that did surprise us was how many of you support the Lloyd Center option because during a big city council meeting last month, it got almost no public support. Our web team listened into the meeting and tallied up the leanings from 180 people, some written comments and the others coming from public testimony. The vast majority spoke in favor of the renovation. More than a quarter of people wanted PSU's plans and just a single person opted for the Lloyd Center. So interesting, tells us, tells us something about our audience, I think. So there you have it. The majority of the story viewers who contacted us would like to see the Keller renovated, but there is support for the other projects, more than what City Council heard the other night for sure. So what's next in the process? Well, you can share your thoughts on which plan you like best with the City Council through July 7th. 
it's a better place to go than us because they're going to vote on it. We have a link on the KGW.com website, and the findings will be reported to the council in August, where a decision on which way to go is expected to be made.